Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a quick uh, talk about the Microsoft Edge browser that's rolling out. So it started to roll out for some of you in Windows 10. Mostly older versions of Windows 10 than newer versions but it's rolling out uh, slowly. So as time goes by uh, this is gonna be rolling out and replacing the old Edge. One of the things that is also happening is if you're on Windows 7, you are being offered Microsoft Edge now, Chromium. If you're on Windows 8.1 also. Uh, and I wanted to answer some of the questions that of course come to computers. Now a lot of people are mad because they say, well, why are they pushing this on me? I don't want to have it. You already have an Edge browser. It doesn't change anything, it just replaces the old Edge. Um, I, I find it a little funny when people go crazy over, uh, you know, well, I don't want to have this. Yeah, well, you got it. Okay, you're in Windows and Microsoft controls it. So, uh, you know, I personally love Edge. I've been using only Edge. Um, it's really, really a nice browser and it's fast and I really, really enjoy using it, um, you know, rather than Chrome or anything else. And that's my personal take on it for using it because, you know, it's fast and it's good. The um, questions that I have, because a lot of you are using it and love it, but are complaining about missing features. And here's the thing. Remember that your Edge stable version. So right now, the uh, stable version is, if we go to about Microsoft Edge, is uh, 83 dot zero dot four seven eight dot fifty four this is as of today june the 20th uh 2020 the browser uh will be updated as time goes by to give you an idea i am using also other uh, insider builds of of uh, edge chromium and we are at version 83 and the um, regular stable version of edge browser but we are, when we look at the Canary version, which is the, the most, uh, I would say, the, the latest version that we can have, and this is a test version, um, this version is at 85, so it's two versions um, ahead. A lot of you are talking about how the, um, there's missing features and PDF reading and stuff like that. This is all coming, okay? I know that it's um, it's kind of sad to have a browser that doesn't have all the functionalities right away, but it's coming. Um, actually, Microsoft committed this week that they want Microsoft Edge to be the best PDF reader you will ever have. So I think it's going to be interesting when they actually complete that side of it. As for other types of missing features and sync and stuff that people complain, slowly it's coming. It's just that we are not yet on the uh, latest versions that have more of these features. So hang in there. If it's not really doing what you want, if it's not, uh, if the features in it are missing something, uh, you could, you know, use another browser for whatever you need to do for now. And at some point in one of the updates, it'll actually have probably the feature that you're looking for. The um, different uh, features that it has also will be improved. Uh, the Canary version has a lot more features and a lot more possibilities. And even in the settings on the left side here. So that will be coming eventually. So just, you know, hang in there for the different versions. They're still building it. So what you're getting here with Edge is technically something that's still being worked on and uh, you know features are added all the time unfortunately one of the features that uh, some of you really enjoyed is not coming to it and it's that feature that was the um, set tabs aside so when you had tabs you could actually set them aside and you could go and get them some of you are, are kind of missing that uh, look you got the collections feature the collections feature is there to um, kind of compensate for that so um, that's pretty much what I would say. Uh, some of you aren't interested in the collections feature. You'd like the, you know, yeah. I uh, had a lot of people saying, well, what's the difference with collections and favorites? Well, collections is a more beautiful way of having your favorite websites. And it's not, you know, collections is not favorites. Favorites is meant, or bookmarks or favorites are meant to have hundreds and hundreds of 
your favorite websites in there. Collections is not meant to be designed like that. Collections is really the top websites you go to. Easy and nice um, looking access to these sites. So you create some collections with the ones you go the most. I'm not going to put 300 collections in here. I'm going to have 300 favorites if I have to. But I will have only, you know, a dozen different collections with the most uh, visited websites that I want to go to. That's the idea behind this. I think people that are not, are, don't, don't see the, the usefulness in collections um, aren't looking at the big picture of, you know, collections versus favorites. And we all have our different ways of working. Some people will still continue using favorites, and that's fine. I mean, you know, everybody works in a different way. I like the collections feature. I think it's really, really cool. So, uh, you know, these are things coming up. And there's going to be more. Um, I did post a video for those of you that want to do or use Chromecast. There's a way to enable it in the browser, even though you are not... Um, it's not enabled by default so you see here I've got my Chromecast living room uh, some of you have been asking me so you see here I do have Toshiba LCD in the source not supported some of you have been asking me about the support to your devices because some of you have devices and you say well I'd like to you know cast to that device uh, once again hang in there new f new features and new capabilities are added all the time so as time goes by you'll eventually probably have that capability within the browser. Remember, a lot of you are complaining about the fact that there is no, uh, you know, Google uh, services capabilities of different things. This is not a Google browser. This is a Microsoft browser. Google services in this browser are not enabled. They don't exist. They exist in Chrome. They don't exist here. This is a different browser. So, it's not Google oriented. That's why a lot of the Google services aren't working uh, in here. Remember that. But you can add the um, you know extensions from the Google Store if you want. So it's you know rolling out slowly. And the last thing that we know is that this browser will be uh, officially released and officially available with next version of Windows 10 version uh, that, that's going to come this fall. So 20H2, which is uh, going to be released probably somewhere in um, you know October or November of this year, coming as a cumulative update, will have Microsoft Edge browser, the new one, automatically in the, um, in the operating system. So... Um, Starting this fall, when people, you know, if people move to the new version of Windows, they'll get Edge Chromium at the same time. And for the rest, I, I don't really, uh, you know, I don't really care much about the rants of people saying, well, you know, this is forced on me and I don't want it. You already have the other Edge. So, you know, uh, just ignore it. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.